Now I'm going to show you the external way of including CSS. The CSS which we have used so far is inside the same HTML file. Why I have kept in the same file because I wanted you to realize everything in single page. But this isn't actually the right way of doing it. What you should do is you should write, you should create the CSS file separately and then you should include it. So when I say this, that means earlier we saw the inline styling, then we saw the style tag, but it is in the same file. So this is known as internal CSS. There is also external CSS. How do you include external CSS? First of all, you create a separate CSS file. Let's say this file I'm going to give first.css, right? All the code which you have inside this style tag that you are going to cut and let's say I cut here, cut from here and paste it in this first.css. Now I'm going to save this, right? Coming back to first.html, now I do not need this style tag. See this, if I just save it and go back to the output and refresh, you see, all the formatting is gone now. It is like somebody applied the makeup and now suddenly the makeup is gone and you are not able to recognize that person. Somewhat similar. Now, because CSS is removed from this file, the HTML file, and it is shifted to first.css. Now you need to include this first.css. How do you do that? I'll use the link tag, right? I'll say link. There is an attribute called relative. Ariel, Ariel will be that this is the style sheet and where exactly this style sheet is. It is, so I'm going to give href attribute, right? That is where is the style sheet. The style sheet is in the current folder. I can certainly write a fixed path also, but not a good practice. When I give current folder, this is called as giving the path relatively this is a relative way so you always use this way of applying path because once you upload your files it's always a good practice that you do not fix any path you may have some folder so you say dot slash folder something like that right now we just have the file in the current folder let me rewrite and explain current folder that is a dot in which you have the first dot css right and i'm going to close the link tag I'll just save this, go back to the browser, refresh and your CSS is back. So this way of applying CSS is called as the external CSS. External is nothing new, right? It's just that you keep separate CSS files, right? Which is a more arranged and manageable code when it comes to larger CSS and larger HTML files.